In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. From the God who was, who is, and who is to come, grace and peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Now, before the 8.30 Mass in the parking lot, I saw Ruby, and she said, Now, Father Val, we got to get over this soon so I can get back to see the World Cup. <laughs> so I welcome all of you today, and I'll be checking to see if anybody's trying to see what the score is on your <laughs> smartphone. <laughs> it's only this Sunday the fourth Sunday of Advent, did we hear anything about the birth of the Christ? We hear it today. And the name is important. As we gather, let's first ask for God's mercy. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Men. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O God, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz. Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as Sheol or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask. I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary mortals that you weary my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child and shall bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. From Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which God promised beforehand through his prophets and in the holy scriptures, the gospel concerning his son, who was descended from David according to the flesh and was declared to be son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through Christ, we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith among all the Gentiles for the sake of his name, including yourselves who are called to belong to Jesus Christ. To all God's beloved in Rome who are called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The birth of Jesus the Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, 
for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife. The Gospel of the Lord. What's in a name? Earlier in the month, I was exercising at the Y, and Shay, who works for Explore Bikes next door, I see him around here, but, well, I just didn't recognize him on the gym floor, and he came up to me and started talking with me. And interested, I said, now, Shay, how did you get that name? He said, well, during the pregnancy, my mother looked in a book of boy names, saw the name Shay, liked it. That's what I became. As you know, my name, Valentine, it came from my grandfather and my dad. And Stephen, as a boy, I was an avid baseball card collector. And there were three cards that I especially wanted to have of the Alou brothers. They didn't play for my team, but it was Manny, Philippe, and Jesus Alou. I had never come across anybody named after Mary's son. And I thought that was the neatest thing. I would go around and call him Jesus Alou until I heard an announcer address it correctly as Jesus. What's in a name? A lot. Mary the angel told Joseph as he was dreaming, Mary will bear a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Now, Jesus is the Greek version of Jehua in Hebrew, which in English is translated Joshua. And its most important name, meaning of the name is God saves. So the angel wanted to make it clear about this name and wants us to know as well that Yeshua, named after Joshua, is not the Joshua from the Old Testament who was the military leader for the chosen people and waged war. Not that. No, it was a deeper meaning of that name because he will save his people from their sins. What's in a name? A lot. 
St. Patrick's, what if the angel had told Joseph to name the child harsh judge or strict rule giver? It would have then been a hell and brimstone type of savior. What's in a name? A lot. Now, in these four weeks of Advent, every Advent, in that book that the priest prays from, seven times it gives this prayer. And we'll hear it this weekend as well during this Mass. And the prayer says this. Please listen. Oh God, since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, come to our rescue with your mercy. Now think about that. The church gives it seven times every Advent. It must want to get our attention. But that one line gives me pause. It agitates me. Since we have no merits to plead our cause, let that sink in. Friends, God has been reckless in sharing the only Son, Jesus, with us. But more than that, God is even further reckless in ripping up the marriage sheet of what our good stuff is and bad stuff. Since we have no marriage to plead our cause, God throws out the brownie points that we might be prone to to collect so that we can have something to present when we come before God. Oh, God rips it up. Since we have no marriage to plead our cause, salvation is a gift. And then we're to live out virtue. We are to live out as God's adopted children because of Eucharist, giving thanks, giving thanks for that prodigal, reckless love that God shows us in Jesus. What's in a name? A lot. Mary will bear a son and you will give him the name Jesus because he will save us from our sins. That's Jesus' Christmas gift to us. And you know, it's tacky to refuse a Christmas gift. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, 
light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The four candles lit. Now we bring our Advent longings. We will respond to our prayers. Come, Lord Jesus. You are our Emmanuel. Shepherd your people in love to humbly accept that you came to forgive all our sins. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. You are our justice. Let your church's deeds of justice and charity give you praise, especially in our reverence for the poor, for refugees, and for immigrants. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. You are the wonder counselor. Give joy to our Jewish sisters and brothers as they begin tonight their celebration of Hanukkah. We pray to you, O Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. You are the giver of all good gifts. Free us from the lure of grasping for more and empower us to share with those in need especially during this time of Christmas. We pray to you, O Lord. Come, Come, Lord Jesus. You are our peacemaker. Free us from our resentments. Lead us to reach out to those with whom we are at odds, especially those within our own families, and bring an end to the horrible war in Ukraine. We pray to you, Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. You are the firstborn of the dead. Give eternal joy to Mike Garrett, as well as to all who have died from violence in our city and nation. We pray to you, O Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, stir up your power, O God. Come, and in your Son, give us mercy and hope and joy that we might witness Emmanuel in this world by the witness of our lives. Grant this to Christ the Lord. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. 
Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Yes, seven times the church gives us this prayer during Advent. Let's listen to it anew. Be pleased, O God, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Grant this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The virgin mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. 
And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory. As without end we acclaim. Therefore, Almighty Father, be blessed through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He is the word that brings salvation. He is the hand you stretch out to sinners. He is the way that leads to your peace. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread in his hands, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. <clears throat> save save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy God, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit who takes away everything 
that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the bishops, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our sisters and brothers and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with him the unending banquet of unity and a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, join together, we dare to say, Our Father, Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This day, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to one another a sign of that peace. Peace, ladies.
As we're drawing so close to the Christmas festival, we can savor that name, Jesus. And as you make your spiritual communion, you who are with us by means of the stream mass, know that forgiveness, but more than that, know that strength that we can live as beloved children of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter to my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Now, all the information is in the bulletin, but for this weekend, on Saturday, December 24th, Christmas Eve, we'll have the Mass of the Night at 5.15 here at St. Patrick's, and then on Christmas morning, Sunday, one Mass at 11 o'clock. So be sure you take the bulletin with you. And then finally, this week, Shannon gave me this quotation from Dorothy Day. And in light of Jesus' name, it might be something for us to go with. From Dorothy Day, quote, I am so glad that Jesus was born in a stable because my soul is so much like a stable. It is so poor and in unsatisfactory condition because of guilt, falsehoods, inadequacies, and sin. Yet, I believe if Jesus can be born in a stable, maybe he can also be born in me. Let's savor that, and let's accept that Christmas gift from Jesus' name. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Thanks be to God.